Hello everyone. <coughs> Hello. Uh, my name is Tim Bien Tan. Uh, actually, I've never been a salesman, but uh, but of course every startup I, I had before, sales is always an important thing. So, uh, so I'd like to share some of my uh, experience, my understanding with you guys. Mm -hmm. And um, so my, my question is how can we achieve efficient growth? Right now in China, the tech companies always say, like, how do we achieve efficient growth? Like a bomb, boom, you know, how do we achieve that? So my answer is dive deep into humanity. Um, I get myself, um, almost all my life I've been doing startups. <laughs> so keep folding, try again, you know, so, so at least I can share some of my failure experience. Uh, uh, what I learned, what the lesson I learned. Because um, I came to the States you know, in 1999 uh, when Bill Clinton was still the president. Mm. And a lot of time, you know, any company with a cool idea can also easily get a uh, uh, VC fund and uh, be able to uh, <coughs> the better the first company called Trisex. If you Google it, you still can find the report time. Uh, we had the idea to send the smell over the internet. <laughs> yeah, so I actually designed really? the product. Yeah, I, I had a product manufactured. I bet everybody reacts like that all the time. Really? <laughs> right. I had the product uh, manufactured. Um, so that company, uh, that, that product, uh, we have a uh, scent cartridge. So we have a uh, control, control board. So when you send the e rolls uh, to your wife or your girlfriend, when she opens, she got to have that connect to uh, the computer connect to my sandal. The sandal will mix the fragrance oil and the vibrate so she can smell the road. So we had it made, we had it functional, we had it made. And at that time, uh, we was in Georgia at that time, and uh, there was another Silicon Valley company called Digicent, had the same idea. But their approach is different. Their approach was trying to simulate. Uh, the bio uh, electric uh, uh, simula uh, simulation for you, you know. So, so they actually never had a product uh, come out. You know, they raised uh, ten times of the money than us. They, wow. they raised twenty million, we only had two million. But they never had a product made. But our approach is uh, more simple. We have fragrance oil, you know, we mix it just like a printer, right? <coughs> but the thing is, um, we did many experiments, but. Uh, it's not like the printer cartridge. You only need three color you can mix and get any colors you want. For smell, we couldn't achieve that. We can only get limited uh, smells. We have 20 channels with 20 different fragrance oil, but still we can only get a limited number. So that makes us a limited of scenario as well. So at the end, we end up uh, working with uh, games. So you don't need a lot of smell when you're playing uh, you know, play video games. So, so that was the first one, but after September 11, you know, everything becomes so hot, and also the smell is not a must to have, you know, so, so we didn't sell where we are, so we had a very tough time, and then, and, yeah. but at least we had it made, you know, and very functional. And then I had my uh, second company in Chicago, I moved from Georgia to Chicago, because when I was making my sand dome, I realized the manufacturing cost for, for product made in China and made in the U.S. costs a lot because I got a quotation from a U.S. manufacturer first. It costs a lot. So I had my second company in Chicago hoping the small and media companies to have their product made in China. Because, uh, because big companies know how to go to China to that. Small companies, they want to save money, but they don't know. They don't know how to communicate. They, they are afraid of the IP gets still, still stolen, you know, all the things. So we will sign the NDA, we make sure uh, the IP get protected, we, we deliver, make sure uh, the vendor will deliver on time, we do communication on the So that was the second company. Then I moved back to China. Um, uh, I had a, another company called Qifan. Uh, Qifan was the uh, uh, first uh, P2P banking company uh, in China. Yeah, but being the first, that means the best, because uh, uh, we we raised the one million uh, US dollars from the boss of HTC. Um, we didn't do very well, but it was okay. Later I will uh, share more about this project. Um, 
I also run a company uh, called Piao Piao. Uh, that company was uh, still in Beijing, still running very well. We're doing a, a, a product innovation consultancy for many companies, from like Nokia, Lenovo, LG, G. We do a lot of research, a lot of uh, product innovation uh, for them. Um, then I moved back to, uh, to the Silicon Valley. I, I used to teach in San Jose State, and uh, uh, I had my another st startup, GoPack Up, uh, provide uh, travel booking services, connect people with locals, and we developed uh, local uh, local guys uh, in 136 uh, countries. Yeah. But um, still uh, burn out money, so go back up. Uh, the, the website's still running, still some people are using it, but uh, we are not much activity uh, involved in this right now. So, so <coughs> my current startup called Nero, it have an experimental we to build up a, a location-based, mobile-friendly uh, social networking app. Yeah. So that's uh, roughly about myself. Again, uh, my name is uh, Kim Bin Ted. Uh, Kim, you know the sun. Bin means a box. Ten uh, used to be a very famous uh, dynasty in China, Ten Dynasty. So again, uh, how do we achieve efficient growth? So we all know uh, China for mobile internet is, is developed very well. In China, even the even the street, the beggar use a QR code. Say, hey, you don't need to give me cash. You scan your QR code. Scan my QR code. Give me money. <laughs> you know, so um, everything is Alipay or, or WeChat Pay. You know, uh, you can you can you can, sit, uh, you can just sit in your home. You you order everything come to your house. You know, food, uh, clothing, all the things. Um, but uh, no much people actually know uh, the uh, com uh, competition. Like for example, uh, group purchasing was very popular in China. Uh, when when group own started, so there was many copycats in China as well at that time. But the, can you imagine how many group purchasing company in China at that time? Over six thousand. Over six thousand company. Right now, I, I, I believe only in less than ten. Group purchasing companies still exist. Three or four of them uh, went to Nasdaq, right? But the com competition is so competitive. So how the companies uh, survived at last? How they achieved their growth? Even even though we know China is such a big uh, big country, the population is big, and people has the buying power, you know. But still, you need to win among all the competitors, right? Uh, like I did like a uh, P2P, first P3 in China, but, um, but after us, uh, in America, can you guess what was the number? 7,000 P2P <coughs> companies uh, in China. Of course only, yeah, 7,000 companies. Of course only several survived, and some of them went to Nasdaq or went to uh, uh, other stock uh, go public. So let's let's say so. When now all the China tech companies will say, what do, what do they become? The those all those losers, <laughs> the seven thousands would don't make it. They they, they will die. They, but they, they get investment and the losers. Really most of them, a lot of most artists. of them just die, closed, you know, out of business. Some may get acquired by big big uh, companies. Mm -hmm. Some may be still doing okay in in the local local area. Oh, okay. You know, because in China, we say big, big uh, city means at least 10 billion people. When we say small people, small cut, small city, at least uh, 5 million. <laughs> or 2 <laughs> million city. Small city. <laughs> Five Five million. Million. Okay. Small city. city. Tech Four largest city in, in America. Houston is like 4 million people. Yeah. Right, that's a small city. We, only, yeah, we, <laughs> we only have Los Angeles and New York and maybe Chicago of that size, maybe that's all. Yeah. Do you yeah. find examples of um, a product that's in one city and there's a, the same type of product in a different city, but they're not competing because they're in different cities? That makes sense? Yeah, they, they are some, for example, some uh, uh, HR companies, uh, HR uh, yeah. head counter companies, I know they are several doing well in locals. Local, but uh, sooner or later, eventually, they yeah. might get their quiet. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, somebody's going to want to expand. Right. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> so the first, you know, 
we always want to say uh, how do we understand people. Because <coughs> during past there was many companies went to China and they failed. Even even Google or even eBay. eBay used to be almost one of the first uh, e-commerce sites in China, but they failed. You know, right now no more eBay in China. They are out of business. So later on, I explain more. Yeah. So before that, we all say, hey, how do we understand people? You know, the American or or other side of the country or other side of the world is always different from China. You know. Um, for example, uh, when we understand the population in China, we, we might segment them by, by age. We will say, hey, those people born in the 50s, in the 60s, 70s, or born after uh, 2000, year 2000, the new millennium, right? Because because of the historical uh, development stage, um, the historic reason, different age group, they have different experience, totally different. Like my father, they are in the 50s, right? So, so they, was, they, were, they were taught communist in all the series, right? They were almost brainwashed, you know? But, but then, uh, then they end up, uh, they, they experience the cultural revolution and things. Then they got no place to, um, to go to school, to get education, right? My, my father is a successful architect, but he taught himself, you know? He, he didn't be able to go to school. But many other people like, like them at their age, you know, they even couldn't get a decent life because they never get educated, right? Um, uh, like, like the, the 60s. The zeros, you don't speak very favorably of them. <laughs> like, <laughs> the not a lot of work to not know their the, mind. Yeah, I explain why. So, Sorry, I didn't even get you. <coughs> yeah. So in the 50s they, or 60s, they was almost brainwashed, so they would say, hey, I love China, I love the country, I love even like the government, I like the party, you know, all the things. So, but they, they, so I would say they are very conservative and they love the country, so-called uh, love the country. Um, and some of them, like the 60s, they experienced the Tiananmen uh, Square uh, event, you know. So, um, but now, right now, this group of people, they are among the uh, 60s or 50s and 60s. So they are, uh, most of them are, some of them are very successful. You know, like they are at the administration uh, uh, level, you know, so they are bosses. Uh, 70s, like my, my age, you know, so, so we are may also at the uh, management level, you know, or some people doing well in their business. Uh, we have children. The eight, um, then, but we was being told uh, to uh, love the parents, love family, you know. Uh, the eighties, so they start to experience the consumer products, start to experience more about the internet, you know. So right now, many companies they are hiring the eighties, right? Eighties uh, uh, people. Uh, they experience the interrupt of internet. Even uh, many uh, funders are like the 7,000 7, P2P or you know, most of them are uh, the run by the uh, 70s or 80s. Um, or 90s, they have a worry-free childhood, childhood. You know, like, like my age, when I just came to stay, I still need to work. I need to find a job. But nowadays, they, they never work. They are rich, right? They, they have, not they are rich, they have rich parents, right? Uh -huh. So they don't work. Uh, so we will say, hey, you don't want to mess up with 90s because the if they are not happy with the boss, they will fire the boss right away, <laughs> right? But we will say the year 2000 a, a population, they even don't want to work because they have enough money, they don't want to work. Yeah, they don't. Um, but, which also means they lost their life goals. No, so, uh, let's just give you a rough idea about each <coughs> population, how it looks like, you know. Or sometimes we um, we segment by the cities, the geography. Uh, we will say first tier city like Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, right? Or second tier city like Suzhou, Hangzhou, right? Or third tier city like my hometown, Hunan, uh, like Hanyang, all the cities. Or some small town, or some village are okay, are doing good, rich village. But we still have many poor villages, very poor, and people even uh, don't have a decent life, right? 
and their parents, the, the younger people, have to go to big city to get a job or working in the manufacturer, doing a labor job, all the things. Huh. Or if we segment by a uh, psychology profile, right, we, from emotional to rational. Huh. Emotional, I, I uh, give them a, uh, a term like shopaholic, like they just love shopping, you know. Maybe <laughs> the, the 2000 people, the year 2000 generation, they, they, they have the money, they, they are shopping holic. Some people, they just don't want to be um, behind, they have the peer pressure and say, hey, my, my friend have it, I have to have it. You know. So some people, they just say, hey, um, I don't feel well today, I, I, maybe I can shop in cafe, <laughs> make me feel better. You know. Some people, they, they, they want to study um, the trend, the style, so they, they will buy their a little bit uh, more rational. Some people, like the moms, they will buy for the family, buy for the children, for their wife, uh, husband. Um, or some people they are living on budget, like uh, shop cola I call it. Um, <coughs> so China, we have uh, several very big uh, um, e-commerce uh, companies. Uh, for example, Timo. Um, Timo is like a very high level um, uh, e-commerce site. Even all the merchandise, uh, I mean, even all the uh, companies you want to sell while Timo you need to pay very high annual fees. Which means if you don't have good sales, if you don't have enough money, you lose money. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you might lose money. Wow. Right, but, but the, the fee you pay there is much higher than you get the physical place in the hottest place uh, in the city. The rent is so high, yeah. Mm. But only the big brands will go there, you know. But people will trust the product there, they will trust. They have a chance, um, just like this kind of store, right? Uh, we have uh, JD, right? JD is also a Nasdaq company. Uh, JD is not like Taobao. JD will say, hey, all the merchandise selling here, I promise you no fake products. Because China, you know, there's a small manufacturer getting a fake yeah, product. They will say, hey, I verified everything. You, when you buy, you're buying from me, you've got the trust, you know? The JD uh, is kind of like this kind of store, so you know, hey, it's trustful, right? But it's not that high end like Timo. Or we have Taobao. The good thing about Taobao is that anything you can think of, or anything you cannot think of, you can find them on Taobao. <laughs> many weird products or many <laughs> strange products, you can find it. Yeah, you can find it. Anything. What the, what is the size of those, those groups compared to uh, Alibaba? Oh, uh, Taobao and Timo both belong to Alibaba Group. Ah, so yeah. <laughs> 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 but one of them didn't belong to Alibaba. Uh, the last Jedi, one. Jedi is not. Jedi well, the middle one, Jedi. Yeah, Jedi is not. So that's how Taobao feels like. That's Taobao. Yeah, yeah. Right. Give you the feeling. Get anything. <laughs> yeah. So now. Uh, last year we have a new company called Pindodo, went to Nasdaq, and they established on year 2015, and only in two and a half years they went to Nasdaq, mm. and they have very good number. Their sales volume is big, their uh, active user is uh, huge, and their <coughs> registered user are very big. You know, so hard to believe, and and how they achieved that, you know, and they only sell very cheap products. Just like what Dollar Tree in the States, you know. They only sell very cheap. Because why? Because when you say hey, China is developed so right now, but you only look at Beijing, Shanghai, or second tier city. But the third tier city, even first tier city, or small towns are still much bigger population. How many people are white collar? How many? China has 1.5 billion people. Maybe 0.2 billion people are in big cities. But 1.3 billion people are still developing, right? So they weren't huge. And also they did very well for fusion growth. Think about just two and a half years. So they're like this. In small time, a lot of people are very crowded, very, a lot of activities going on there. You know? uh, so when we look at the 60s, 70s, so where is Kindle Door, where is Taobao? So 
I was a chemo, I more for the 90s and the 2000 new millennium. So they have money to buy. They like to all the luxury brand, you know, Elway, you know, all the products. Uh, JD is from uh, for the 80s. They start to build their family, they buy this, they want a decent life, right? Or oh, Taobao uh, is more for the more economy uh, considerations. Uh, pin, pin do do. Many for old people, you hard to believe. My my parents and the parents in law, they want to pin the door almost every day. Wow. You hard to believe. <laughs> Think about it, because even though now they have a decent life, but they had the experience of the hard life during the past. So they really live on budget. They they willing to give all the money to their children to spend, buy the Louis Vuitton, buy this. Yes. <laughs> like the, the, their children may be driving a luxury car in the States and they still driving a you know, uh, China-made manufactured car in China. You know? So you, you don't know they are so rich. You know? yeah. How good is the delivery in China to all those cities? Uh, oh, delivery is the best. China's yes. delivery always, uh, we can have one day delivery. Wow. Uh, yeah, what? Always, yeah, in like, the rollers too? Yeah. In the rural areas? In rural areas also are like um, one or two days, maximum wow. three days. Do they have that many fulfillment centers or is it? Yeah, they have and they yes. much faster, much faster. Wow. Impressive. Much faster than the United States. Incredible. Yeah. yeah, the service has been very well, the service, yeah. You, yeah. So, Kimo uh, for first major of many for first tier cities, uh, JD for second tier city in Manly. Uh, Taobao for third, here city mainly, right? Or Pindodo is more for small town or villages. So Alibaba would be the whole thing. Alibaba, but still, uh, Alibaba, yeah, Alibaba has Taobao and Kimo, yeah. So for uh, psychology, so Kimo is for more for emotional. JD uh, between. Right. It's like every chart is lining up in a certain way. It's really right. interesting, yeah. Or Taobao, Shopkeeper, or Indodo yeah. budget yeah. kind of purchasing. Yeah. But where is the shop? Uh, uh, yeah, where is the Shopkeeper? This we have this another thing. called uh, Xiao Hong Shu. Oh. Xiao Hong Shu starts from uh, fashion community. They was doing fashion uh, discussion, all the things. Then they end up selling all the stuff. Xiao Hong Shu uh, also doing very well, yeah. So, uh, so we will say, hey, so we, how do you position in your products, right? And also, many people will say, hey, why all the China uh, products are so complicated, so crowded, when you look at the interface, or look at the website, or, or uh, apps? Because, um, I would say for positioning-wise, excuse me, can I get some water? Uh, positioning-wise, I would say um, the, the state's products are mostly are building tools. And we're building tools. We want one tools for, for one feature. We want to be very vertical. We want to be so-called very professional, right? But in China, the, the positioning is called entertainment. We just want to crowd it. We want fun. We want everything in it. We want engagement. So I would say the, the difference is um, uh, the states, we, uh, thank you. The states, we say we want to be efficient, but China, we just say hey, we want to be engagement. So the position is much different because the position is different, and uh, their design is different. Yeah, their, what they do is different. Um, for example, um, in the states, many products they don't allow you to communicate. Right. Um, just think about when eBay went to China, they, they start much earlier than Taobao. They had a good business at the beginning because no much competitors, right? Uh, uh, they acquired a company uh, in China, that's why. <coughs> but when Taobao started, then eBay started out of business, right? So many people say, hey, why eBay lost? Many people say, hey, maybe because of eBay was charging your uh, pub publishing fees. They are charging the uh, all the sellers publishing costs. But that shouldn't be the, cost, the reason. Why? Because Timor charge much, much higher than, <laughs> than uh, eBay, right? 
And you know, in China, people are so buying a lot of things. We even put money to buy a wind tone. You know, calling oh, we, we yeah, want a different yeah, wind tone, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We even spend money to buy all the skins, you know, phone skins or a lot of things, right? So they are waiting to pay money. So eBay pay, uh, charging, I think, is not a reason. For my understanding, the reason is that e, uh, eBay don't allow people to communicate. And Chinese people, they like the bucket. So you give them the bucket. The, in Taobao, you can bug it. You can bargain for price, you can negotiate in for many things. Then they send a new price link. You pay a different price. It's cultural. Price. It's cultural. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be able they, to bargain. Right. They like bargaining. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> um, so you know, Taobao, even today, they still have all the checking. You can send the image, you can send the voice, uh, text. Um, you can chat with their customer service as well. Um, For Timor, the same. It's kind of like a standard for all the, all the most of the Chinese tech companies. <coughs> so they, they will chat. Even even your uh, logistic deliveries, you don't need to uh, uh, write, uh, remember a tracking number, go to the, go to DFL to track. Everything's still within the app. Right. You just That's swap great. and you, you, know, you just chat. And, uh, you just ask, hey, where's my my, my product? They will tell you. you know. That's give you a good experience. Right? Yes. And uh, JD is the same, yeah. Um, Kindle law, of course, you know, chatting, right? It's a must. Uh, this was an uh, idea done for a um, Korean <coughs> company called Coupon. I also hope, I suggest them to have this, but even today they still don't, don't have this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, another thing is that community also become a standard. So they want every people, every shop stay here, chatting, discussing, right? Make friends. So <clears throat> Timor has a community for people to share uh, their uh, styling, their dressing, you know, their mm -hmm. uh, taste. Um, other people can uh, can comment, you know, can like, uh, can ask, hey, where did you buy this? Where did you got this? Right. Um, Taobao has community, you can also share audio, <coughs> video, uh, uh, blogs. Um, JD, the same, as a community. So that's why it's so crowded, they have so many things in it. And another thing is that nowadays, almost, almost, I would say, almost 100% um, uh, tech startups will go mobile. They don't, many of them, 90% of them even don't build the website anymore. It's wasting time. So we just do mobile, mobile first. So Pindodo is exactly <coughs> mobile first. They, they start from mobile, mobile shopping. They, they, even today, they don't have a website. Their website is just like company introduction. You know? <coughs> uh, so that's the data I got from Gigi Wei and that's not the latest. So that's 400 million, that's not the current. The current is about a quarter of the China population are active users. And, and also to achieve all the numbers, it uh, took Taobao five years to, to get all the numbers. And it took JD 10 years to get this number. And JD uh, and Pinodo only spent two and a half years. That's, that, that's how they use mobile, how they use, uh, later I will examine more, use viral, social effects, all the things. Uh, like this, uh, so mobile, it started from a, from a, uh, a small app in ch inside WeChat. They even didn't have a native app at the beginning. They start from a WeChat app. You know, so, so people will buy, people will say, hey, it's so cheap, you know, for jeans. But jeans only cost like two dollars, less than two dollars, you know. Um, the shoes like the nine dollars. Need to go shopping there. <laughs> yeah. So they will say, hey, everything starts from uh, uh, nine ninety nine 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 ninety nine. Uh, so they really care a lot, using a lot about social. That's how they achieve the growth, right? 
because uh, right now China tech companies always say, hey, um, traditional advertisement don't work. We don't want to spend money on that. You know, so they, most of them don't spend money on traditional ads anymore, right? They care a lot about the social, how to make people social. So at the, at the Pindoro, uh, for example, they have this uh, called a uh, uh, lottery lottery game. You know, so you just spend one cent, one cent, you might get a coat, you might get a phone, just one cent. But it's a lottery; don't guarantee you get it, right? So you put this one cent, they get uh, your payment information, right? After you put the uh, one cent, you need to share. After you share, you are eligible for the lottery, right? But but think about uh, if you tried ten times or twenty times, you still didn't win, then you will lose lose uh, interest, right? So if you didn't win the lottery, they even refund the one cent to you. <laughs> so if you will keep trying, you know, yeah. So but. But when people are doing that, they, they are helping them spread spread the information. Uh, <coughs> they have this uh, called uh, price parking uh, feature. Like for example, I want to buy this watch. The normal price is this, but I don't want to pay for that much. So I send the link to you, to you, to you. So every one of you go click the button, right? So my price will drop down a little bit. So ideally, if I get enough people to sign up and enough people to bargain for me, I can get the product for free, right? But then you have to ask a lot of friends to help you, a lot of people to join, right? So compare a watch I give out to the um, to the advertisement I might spend on the TV, how to I save? And nobody really be able to keep getting so many people, right? So they wouldn't actually be able to get the product for zero, right? But they might get a little bit lower. Yeah, that's how they save money. Get more people to sign up. <coughs> and also, uh, whenever you go to uh, the app, they will say, hey, today I give you a $5 discount coupon. But you have to spend within two hours or something like that. Mm -hmm. But after you spend, uh, it was, hey, you already get 50, you already spend $50. If you spend another $25 more, I, gi I give you another $25 back. Something like that. They never let you go. They <laughs> give you keep giving you coupons and never let you go, go away, right? It's like at the fair. Right. Yeah. And they really, they are really smart about, the, care about sharing, because when I try to uh, make this slide, I get a screenshot, right? I hold my iPhone key to get a screen, screenshot. Even when I get a screenshot, they pop up a message, say, hey, do you want to share? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to share this image? No. <coughs> so the, uh, in, in Chinese New Year, you, they will give you the Hong Bao and a red envelope, you know, with cash you can spend, you know, things. Um. <coughs> Another thing is that sometimes you really know how to use people's um, compassion, you know, understand the human, you know. The thing is, um, for example, when you buy agricultural products in Pindodo, they wouldn't say, uh, hey, just buy it, it's cheap or something like that. They will, they will tell you a story. Hey, you're buying for poverty. You're, you're, you're helping the rural farmers who are poor, you know. Or like this one, they will say, hey, this guy is blind, blind people. So you're helping him <laughs> purchase more, you know, so, something like that. Yeah, they're selling a story, not besides the selling merchandise. They, they gotta cut the guy's hand off, you buy even more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, you know, like uh, Tencent, they also used to sell um, all the artworks for the kids and all the things. Um, another example was the Qi Fang I used to do uh, in China. Um, uh, I also was, besides P2P lending, I also had charity features. Um, uh, for some poor kids, people can just donate. Uh, and I built a charity game uh, inside Qi Fang at that time. Um, how the charity game works. A lot of time, uh, you know, the, the Chinese uh, consumers don't trust Chinese milk. They don't want to drink local milk because of too much artificial uh, stuff added in, in, in it, not healthy. So we have the manufacturer, uh, milk manufacturer sponsored this game. And so you choose an avatar, 
Uh, then you build a uh, make a milk. So when the customer, uh, the user making a pro produce a virtual milk, the uh, the manufacturer will donate a real milk to the poor kids in the rural area. No, so by doing this, uh, manu, you know, the manufacturer rebuilt their corporate image. So people know how their manufacturing process is healthy, is trustful, right? For for customer, for consumer, for for users, web users, then I, I didn't do anything. I just play the games and I help the child, and child get get the milk. And as chief fan as us, we get the advertisement free from uh, manufacturer as well. So we even uh, selling uh, uh, many. Uh, we have many merchandise was donated by the manufacturers, and then we sell online. We give it to the children. Uh, the stationery and uh, clothing. Um, so that was at the last time I was uh, reporting on my main media. Uh, <coughs> Another thing is that uh, gamification. Gamification has been doing very well. Like my uh, my parents in law came to the States, stayed here for half a year with that to take care of my children. Uh, but they still go to Pindodo every day. I say, why do you go to Pindodo every day? You, are, you cannot purchase, you are not in China right now. They go to Pindodo play games. Mm. What kind of games? You don't want to make your e-commerce site a, a gaming site, right? So the game must relate it to the e-commerce. For example, Pindodo has this uh, Dodo farm. So in this farm, you pick a seed, then you plant, then you water it every day. For example, you water the apple trees, then when the tree grows up, when it has fruit, become <coughs> fruitful, uh, Pindodo send you a real box of real apple wow. for free, even shipping cost free. Wow. So in order to get the, the apple, the, the old people will keep watering every day. So you will come back to the site. So the apple is free, shipping is free, but the water is not free, but of course you don't need to pay for water. You have two tasks to commit to, 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 to do. One task is you need to invite at least three use new users. So you will keep inviting new people to come in. And the second task is that if you cannot invite three, peop three people, you just need to browse in the merchandise for a certain amount of time. But by browsing, you might just end up buying something you don't need, you know. <laughs> so because of that, like, like uh, Taobao, they also work with the Japanese uh, uh, traveling vlog games. They do the Chinese version. So the frog, you are feeding the frog, the frog travel, travel somewhere, they really travel to Paris, they might bring you some Paris products, but you need to buy for it, right? And, and another uh, one called Kobe. Kobe is like a Yelp, it's like a Yelp in China. They do all reviews for restaurants. So they also have a farm, you can ride the chickens or cows. So when the, your cow become big, you can exchange for a free uh, a barbecue chicken <laughs> or a hamburger in the partner of the restaurant. <laughs> so it's fun for people who can come in. <laughs> so the thing is, do we really understand our consumers? And sometimes understand their consumers means understand their weakness or, or what they need, as strongly needed, right? There was an, another um, mobile phone manufacturers. They are doing much better than, than Nokia, than, uh, than Apple, than Android phones. Uh, of course, they are also Android phones. Uh, called Techno. Techno, very popular in China. One reason, you, you know, very popular in Yeah. One reason is that, you know, normal phone when you take for the uh, African people, you cannot get a good selfie, but they pay a lot of attention to the filters to make people feel get all the details and looks very tall. This, very this phone is more popular than yeah, iPhone in the Nigeria. Yeah, because they, they, they <laughs> know what people yes. need, what people really need. Is that the primary reason? To the, to the well, cheap cost too, they, right? They have variety. They have ones that look like iPhone and they have ones that are like, like that. Mm -hmm. $10, $20. Yeah. Some actually like flashlights. Oh, wow. Are they Chinese phones? <laughs> yeah. China manufacturing. So That's they it. have this and they have Infinix. Mm -hmm. So there's the parent company is called Transil. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm American yeah. last week. Okay. So 
It is crazy. If, if you want to learn about phones, just go to Nigeria. Wow. You think you're in another world. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Like uh, 10 years ago, I helped uh, uh, Nokia develop an app uh, called Mobile <laughs> to let people study English. But there was another small company, a uh, yes, tech startup in China called Panda Reading. Panda Reading, um, they are not let people read English, they are let people reading like martial arts books or, or legend story books or even some uh, little uh, sex books, you know. And they sell each book for two, uh, two yuan, two Chinese yuan, like, like uh, 10 cents or something like that. Uh, but nowadays, uh, mobile audio already closed, you know, no, no longer exists. But Panda, uh, Panda Reading doing very well. Why? Because um, not that many people, a lot of people, because uh, mobile audio targeting at the white collar people in big cities, they, they work, for all the, uh, work with so many international <coughs> companies or clients, so they need to learn English. But they have to pay for a higher high mortgage for their housing in big cities. They, are not, they don't want to pay two, two yuan for a book, you know. But for, for, um, for them, they even targeting at uh, like people work at Foxconn, you know. Those people will, will only make like $500 US dollars a, a, a month, <coughs> but they have no entertainment. They live in a dormitory like 10 people in a room. What can they do after, after finish the work? <coughs> They read books, read uh, some sexual content, some martial art content, <laughs> you know, then we, they, we need to spend the, dollar, the, the money. So that's why how we're targeting the right group of people and really understand what they need. And I think it's viral, viral, and viral, right? Um, think about Gangnam Style, just one song, went so popular, right? And, you know, Pindodo had Pindodo song. Yeah. So sometimes we make a song, uh, it, we call it brainwash song because it's so, so um, simple but uh, repetitive. Uh, we call it brainwash song, so it make you to keep singing, you know. You, you, some song I, I listened when I was a kid, I can always, it just jump, jump out from my mouth, you know, sometimes. Yeah, that song is stuck in my head, thanks. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so th this was a song, uh, when I used to have my company, uh, this was one uh, for my last startup, Go Pack Up. So I was trying to, hey, how can I make a viral sound? You know, so we did this. You know. But we don't have the design to the whole sound. Um, uh, there was a, another team, small team, only two people, one designer, one programmer. Spent uh, two days developing small games called uh, uh, Can You Circle the Wild Cat? You know, can you use minimal step to uh, uh, circle the wild cat? And it went so viral that it got 10 million users in two days. What? 10 million. What? In two days. That's crazy. That's crazy. Right. So that's why nowadays uh, we, we care a lot about how can we build a viral stuff, make people uh, come to us, you know. And some people will do some uh, EQ, IQ test uh, and uh, ask you to share all the things that's all because they really want to get the, the users, right? They want to encourage you to see, share. There was this app called Xian Yu. Uh, it's for people to sell your your used products. If you don't want your my laptop again, I just sell it for second-hand products. Their first million users only because of this one article. They write a blog, write an article. But it was so funny that everyone was forwarding. So they just they didn't spend any money. They didn't have even don't have any budget to to do any. You know, advertisement or something like that, just because of one article. So the article was about, hey, my wife will get a new sofa, so she, she wants me to throw out the, the old sofa, but I don't want to throw it because I think everything has, can be used. So that's why I put a lot of uh, uh, used stuff in, uh, in my balcony, right? 
So I, I had an idea, maybe I can build a sofa, and my, my toy is on the sofa, so I can sit to the sofa to poo poo, right? Mm -hmm. then, then end up I dig the hole and I find out, hey, the toy is too tall. I cannot fit it, fit it in. So now what can I do? Can, maybe I just sell the sofa, right? So he, he put that sofa on Xian Yu, he sell it, he put a model on it. Then the guy said, hey, can you sell the model to me as well? Then, then he sell it. That guy gave him an address and he, he sell it. He said, hey, the guy said, do you have another model? Uh, he said, I do, I do have another model. Then they sent me also, I buy it. So <laughs> the, the guy buy his two models and with the sofa with a hole in it. So he was felt strange. Why someone would buy a sofa with a hole? So one day he, he was driving uh, near that address. He was sending the, the products. It was, a, it, it was a recycling center, so, which make him more surprised. Who will uh, buy something he don't need, just send to the garbage uh, recycle center, right? Then end up, he found out, one day he went to a, a chat group. He found that guy, uh, the guy, and he went to like, that guy's timeline and see the, time, the guy's post. The guy actually uh, live next to next building to him, and the guy said, hey, the one, the, the one seat uh, next uh, uh, to me, the neighbor, must be a psycho. He put so many stuff on his balcony, and the, the mother just keep looking at me, and uh, feel, make me feel annoyed. So he's so nice, so I just push it and put on garbage. <laughs> so everybody was so, so funny and uh, spread, you know. Mm -hmm. Just one article get one million users. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was, when I was working for uh, iHealth, we we manufacturing uh, glucometers, you know. Um, so I had this uh, carton because I want to try viral. So I said, hey, I was very high last night. You no, know, <laughs> the uh, the glucometer, you know. So a lot of people uh, ret retweeted and uh, uh, comment. You know, actually, I think it was very well. But my CMO just uh, argued with me. Said, hey. You are destroying uh, our image. We are a serious <laughs> company. You know, we don't want people to think we are fun joking. You know, so uh, <coughs> nowadays I'm also uh, hoping uh, Andrew Yan run for the presidency. Uh -huh. So I also uh, had my people do a lot of uh, uh, comics. You know. <laughs> 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 and so that's why now Chinese tech, tech company they don't trust the uh, advertisement. They will say, hey, we want to build our self media. But how to build a self media, right? You need every people in your company have this kind of sense. You are representing the company, we need to make self media, right? So, um, <coughs> The co-founder of Xiaomi uh, wrote this uh, book called uh, Participation. Um, means they want every people participate. They want every user to participate in the company uh, development. Uh, they say every company should be a self media. That's, that's a book, a one, one page of a book. So for example, these two guys, they are Xiaomi employee. They are programmer. You know, so, they want to say, hey, our, our box, our packaging are very good quality. So they just stand on the, on the box and take a, take a photo. And people just spread, people, you know. And they do a lot of experiments online, say, hey, we drill the, the phone and this works well. We put the phone in the fridge and it works well, you know, and people spread, you know. Uh, okay, and the last part is a little bit of testament for my own uh, current company. <laughs> so uh, I would uh, uh, hope you guys will download uh, Nero. Uh, give me feedbacks. Uh, the reason I do the Nero is uh, I eighty percent of companies are um, a small business. They are only serving local people, right? So I think there's a need. For example, when you're looking for partners, looking for co-founders looking for investment, looking for handyman, or just want to stay uh, with all the local communities, local groups. 
you were just searching nearby, right? <coughs> and you can uh, view uh, on the map, you know, uh, see what's their name, what do they do. You can also see a list, you can search, you can see uh, their name, uh, their, uh, what job they do and what their hourly rate and what they are looking for offering. Or you can stay with, uh, connected with all the local groups and you can, for example, you can local startup group, you can join, you can chat. So in a world, Nero is a location-based professional networking app. And also, we are also trying to do all the viral things, or, um, uh, gamification, so we are building a, we call the Anthropoly, so to let people try the startup circle, you know, you build, how you build a company, how you get higher talents, you know, so. Uh, we also do more comics. We say, hey, uh, these are the weirdest job in the world, uh, dog food, uh, taste, uh, <laughs> or uh, Loyapa, any people know Loyapa? Loyapa is a, a, a we call it Sky Berry Master in Tibet. So you know, Tibet people traditionally after they die, they don't bury, uh, burn or bury. Oh. They just feed the watcher. That's right. So there's a master cut you in pieces, <laughs> cut the, the dead body in pieces. Give the water. Yeah, feed the mm -hmm. yeah. It's common also in, in Iran. Okay. It's one of the most famous. Uh, right, and or uh, you know, in in China there's a. There's another um, type of uh, called corpse having priest. They have this kind of, uh, <coughs> they put a spell, then all the body will jump, 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 follow him. He lead the body, bows the body and sell back to his hometown. It's a myth, we don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. is, it, is it more of a marketplace or a social or a professional network? A uh, professional network. Yeah. <coughs> Try it. So we will say, hey, more, more professional, more professions, Chinese role app. And our business model is, uh, one thing is a uh, uh, paid in-app uh, consulting. Like, right now all the chatting are free, but hey, uh, maybe you want more of my professional op opinion and you agree my read, then I send you a link, you click agree, then the next one hour or two hour will be paid uh, chatting, yeah. Uh, because we are professional based, so we will have uh, professional uh, chatting as well. So we will give you uh, context related uh, advertisement. For example, they are talking about what's the best prototyping tool. Then uh, our uh, ad, uh, um, ad robots will give an uh, advertisement based on uh, their, uh, what's their conversation. So that's it. That's my uh, sharing. <laughs> Thank you.